so guys today i am going to explain you the difference between monolithic kernel and microlithic kernel so before we start with the difference i would like to explain you what kernel means kernel is the program that allows communication between software and hardware when we first start our computer the first thing that gets loaded is the kernel and then the kernel takes care of the rest part of the os to get loaded functions of kernel are abstraction and arbitration so abstraction what abstraction means is like hardware access kernel helps us to helps the user to access the hardware and it also takes care of the scheduling uh, what scheduling means is that if many processes are uh, executing simultaneously then a uh, kernel will take care how they will be ex uh, executed using certain scheduling algorithms and the kernel also helps inter process communication that is if two processes uh, maybe two application processes or one application processes and a system processes if they want to communicate with each other then they need to do it via kernel they cannot interact directly and it also supports arbitration that is access privileges and it also supports the system from getting crashed uh, monolithic kernel so basically what monolithic kernel means is that the entire os is placed in the kernel space this makes the kernel very huge and all the uh, as whatever is placed in the kernel runs in privileged mode uh, and as the entire operating system is placed in the kernel space therefore the entire os code will run in privileged mode um, as you can see that the performance will be higher why uh, why the performance will be higher i'll tell you that because all the service all the services are placed inside the kernel so the access time will be less and in turn the performance will be higher uh, but if any one of the services uh, gets uh, failed then the entire system will get crashed so that is a disadvantage of monolithic kernel uh, so uh, now we have microlithic kernel in this type of kernel only a limited amount of code is placed in the kernel space and the rest of the os runs on the user space uh, in the user space we can see that all the system processes are separated from one another and there is also separation between the user process and the system processes so uh, the uh, kernel will only contain certain code for inter process communication uh, and uh, scheduling and basic memory management code because of this if any one of the process needs to interact with one another then they'll have to do it via the kernel but as each of the processes are separated so access time will become more and due to this the performance will go down so that is all about the difference between monolithic kernel and microlithic kernel hope you understood thanks for watching